Funky D. Everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, today make I take my time, eh? Analyze this Amote con security outfit and those are outfits where they bring out from the southeastern part of the country and the one where they don't get again now in the northern part of the country. When then they claim see then bring out to tackle insecurity. But the news, the main news when I get from us is uh, Ganduji versus Sanusi. Buhari reacts, state his position on lingering fights. Now that one be the main news, but to make I take my time analyze this uh, Amotekon and all these security outfit where they bring come out in Nigeria. But make I first say I not day against any of now. Uh -huh. But as he be now one year, you know, um, the army when una the claim see that them be the army when they that Nigeria. Hmm. They're not fit to fight Boko Haram. They're not fit to fight the ISIS. They're not fit to fight the bandits. They're not fit to fight the insecurity when they're that country. They're not fit to fight the insurgency when they're that country. Now, they say now, Amutekun. Then the, uh, the southeastern part of the country don't bring out their own. The northerners don't bring their own. All of them now security outfit according to their claim, ladies and gentlemen. But my question to this security outfit, where did they bring come out? BC? Una, one go fight Boko Haram without arms? Because the people won't get arms and ammunition when be the police and the army and the navy and all these forces when we get in Nigeria. They will not feel fight Boko Haram with their arms where they get. Recently, we don't see some now where they claim, see, they go buy. Three jets where they want to fight and survey this uh, Boko Haram and Hesmin. The one they buy, they every day that they promise you they won't pump money, give army. And the ones where they don't pump, give army before, we don't see them. We don't see what they take and do. You understand? We don't see them for granted. We don't see what they take and do, ladies and gentlemen, and share that they share them. Now, when they bring out Amutekon, the government claims, see, Amutekon. And the people when bring and come when be the governors according to their claim. Now their claim will they take the talk. They tell us say these people they know they carry arms. Likewise, one one come from the uh, southeastern part of the country and one come from according to the northerners. Now the same thing one all of them claim because I see I saw them in one video where they match. I just they look them, you know. So now, where the people when carry gun and the arms and the ammunition, even they use their drone. I mean the Nigerian government. They're not free fight Boko Haram. They're not free fight ISIS. Now, Amotekon will not get cutlass or will not get gun or will not carry arms. Now, then one go face Hesmin. Hesmin will carry AK 47. I've been and then one go follow. Uh, uh, I've been and then one can go face the Boko Haram and the ISIS. When on a know who ISIS and Boko Haram be, and on a government, not fit defeat them. On an army, not fit to defeat them. In fact, army they run from them. Today, we see now say all the whole soldiers, the whole troop where they supposed to deploy go Sambisa Forest, then they in the Kano house in Afaruku village. You know, they want to take key the Biafran people when not carry gun, when not carry anything, when not carry stick. But then they busy, they dance there, say they want to dance with the IPOB people. So my question when I the question when I get for Nabisi, the people when carry the gun, they're not fit fight. All these people because the what in the governors that they claim be say not to tackle insecurity, they won't go send innocent people when they're not the reason. When say then go be a motorcon, then go be this, then go be security outfit without any uh, weapon to face their uh, opponent or to face the uh, uh, the deadly terrorist when they be the Boko Haram and ISIS. They not get anything. So now these people now won't go push. Go to find herdsmen in the bush with AK-47. Whereas them not get anything when they want to fight. They won't go face these people with empty handed. Now my question to all these governors. But the whole governors when they in Nigeria, the whole governors when we say them, they in support of all these secure, new security outfit when they call Amotekon. And the one won't come from the eastern part and the one won't come from the northern part. So when I want to send innocent Nigerian people when not carry arms because the government don't make them clear they don't make them clear see they're not go carry 
any gun or any weapon. How you feel say somebody when not carry weapon go go face somebody when carry AK forty seven. Now be say these governors they not get sense. When the governors won't go bring these security outfits, they don't get sense. Now you say they won't push the Nigerian citizens, they won't push the innocent people, go die in the front or in the war front against Boko Haram, against ISIS, against the, the herdsmen when they carry gun. Because for you to talk, say you bring somebody to come secure you without any weapon. The people, when they go fight against, now people won't get all kinds of bomb and all kinds of weapon. Does it make sense? Does it make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Because they don't brag, brag. See, these people, they don't go carry weapon. They don't carry gun. See, now only police and the army now then get the right, and the navies now then get the right to carry weapon or to carry gun. So tell me now the meaning of that security, a motorcon security outfit without a gun or without no weapon. Tell me the sense when it come make now. Nah. It can't be like so that they recruit the governors, they recruit people, make them go die. Make us men go go blast them with their AK 47 when they take the waka for street every now and then 247. The governors they drive, they pass them, the police and army they drive, then they pass all this northern northern herdsmen. Then they carry gun in the street, broad daylight. Now him, I'm not taking one face. Now him, the security outfit when they bring come out from the northern part of the country, they won't go face. Okay, no problem. If not so, not talk, see, not then one save on It's good. We know they condemn Amo, ladies and gentlemen. You not talk, say, we there, they condemn Amo. The question went from Kidi Koma, come ask on now. Be say. And this question goes to the governors. When bring out this security outfit without weapon. When they won't go fight Hesmith and Boko Haram. When they get AK-47. Get all kinds of bomb. People won't carry bomb, a uh, gun and uh, AK-47 to when be the soldiers. When I claim soon, I get soldiers. They're not fit to defeat these people. They're not fit to fight them. Then, in fact, then they run from them. Then I claim, see, ah, new security outfit. All these things, ladies and gentlemen, are politics. All these are political. Not be written. Now, why you think? And if you check them, if you check them very, very well, deeply, <laughs> all these things, now another agenda where they get with the Fulani people. Telling you the facts. If you check them very well. Or you know if you tell me say somebody when no when, when no get gun go face ISIS or Boko Haram when they carry gun 247. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, may we leave that one aside. May we go to the news when consigned Ganduji versus Sanusi. Buhari, according to the news, states his position on lingering fight. Una no say. Ganduji they try to dethrone because he's not governor. I know they support anybody. <laughs> I'm just a neutral man on my own. I just do my own, ladies and gentlemen. Ganduji won the throne Sanusi. And this Sanusi throne, when they call um, Emir of Kano. Sanusi na Emir of Kano. Sanusi don't they don't use money, corrupt money, proceed of corruption, take by this position. When in day, when be the Amir, I like a king of the whole traditional king of the whole Kaduna state. And according to waiting that they tell us, that they tell us, say, this is their traditional uh, uh, leadership, say, it don't take now 18 centuries, it don't exist. When Sanusi, uh, uh, Ganduji won't come to the throne, their own king. Now fight. Nobody know the reason why that they fight. Ganduji don't go court many times and court Ted and see men. No, Ganduji, you cannot dethrone this man. Gand uh, Ganduji don't bring many, many people. Well, they don't even, if, in fact, he don't create many emirates in Kano State there. Okay? Kano State, don't bring out many, many emirates when we say Dengu, you know, when Ingo. You know, give them position. Say now, now go be like Sanusi here. When I go, you go be like Sanusi there. You go be like Sanusi there. Before now, only Sanusi. But Sanusi say no. Now they fight. Where did they fight? But ladies and gentlemen, Unanu say Sanusi, a former governor of CBN. Before 
during the time of good Lord Jonathan, when they loot nonsense come on from our treasury. Trillions, now they loot come on under Sanusi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, trillions of dollars. Now they lost. Nigeria lost. At the end of the day, today that case not fly, go anywhere. Sanusi, Jonathan, all of them gang up, carry the money, chucking. Who know whether I think when they call the pink ganduji. And at that money they am because from CBN governor, before you know, don't become what in him become as the emir of Kano State. So the matter don't they linger on sense when we say people when they that state can they call President Muhammad Buhari making wade in on the matter on the case between Sanusi and the Emir of Kano and their governor. Or oh, and the governor of the state when be Ganduji when camera cash with the thousands and millions of dollars cash when in the thief and whether they give him as a bribe at the end of the day. Buhari, the same Buhari, the same Jubri Council and best governor. Today, if you go ask that man one day as a rock, say who be the minister of FCT? He not know. He not know. How many states we get in Nigeria? The man won't be president to what they say nine days there before. Nine days there, 1983, 1984. He not know how many states they in country. So now him now they can't tell us. He make it come wait in the matter. According to what in the news they tell us, <laughs> recently, the man, what they call uh, Gabashew, the spokesman, the criminal man, now he can talk, say, President Muhammad Wari, say, he know the role when in they play as the Nigerian president. Say so the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, now he give the governor his own role when in Gofi they play on the matter when consigned the place when in the rule, when be Kaduna State. And I still give the same constitution, see, uh, 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 power and power the people of a uh, um, House of Assembly in Kaduna State. Say the person won't be the president, won't be the Jubri. Hmm? He not get any constitutional right to interfere in the matter. Or in that matter, when consigned the Emir of Kanu State and the Governor of Kanu State. Say, Buhari not get that uh, constitutional right to, to interfere in the matter. Say, the matter consigned the Emir of Kanu and the Governor of the Kanu State. When be Ganduji. Say, not get right. And they say, in further. Now, Ganduji can't they propagate like this. So, make a, ladies and gentlemen, I can't they propagate to say, Buhari can't further explain, say, him when Bibuari say the electam by the constitution and having sworn, sworn the oath and say him go stand by the oath when today we never know the oath when Bibuari sworn and when he stand the one when he stand by the oath they different because all this oath oath thing now fake thing ladies and gentlemen to deceive the gullible. Was. Not be only in Nigeria and everywhere, everywhere in the world that they, that they talk about this oath, they take the deceived people. Then go swear that oath inst instantly when they swear that oath. As then they just swear them. The first thing when they talk, the first thing when they tell people, now nah, lie, now nah, why you? They will just they blow and they go. And when they don't swear oath, when the politicians they take the, the when they don't take blind food, everybody when they this word. Not be only in Nigeria. That they are oath, not nah, fake oath. That they are oath, not mean anything. Not make any sense that they are out now fake oats. You understand? Because if that they are oats, they walk that oath where they swear if we don't knock all of them when they into power down because of their wayo and the evil when they, they do. So Buhari Abidjubri don't clear himself out from the matter. I can't talk say in office and himself cannot put him out inside the matter when when consigned Ganduji. And that man. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just reach more so that uh, we conclude. Okay. 
President Muhammad Buhari has provided a major reason why he will not intervene in the face off between Governor Ganduji of Kano State and Emir Mohamed Sanusi II. Buhari said on the matter, I have been quiet on the matter because the Nigerian constitution does not permit him to wade into the matter. Recall that the Emir of Nanji. Alahaji Yanusi Danyaya had during the week called on the President Muhammad Wari to urgently intervene in the brief between the governor and the monarch. However, in a statement by his spokesperson, Gaba uh, Shehu, the president said, I know my role as the president of Nigeria. By the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the governor of Kano State has his own role. Once a matter is in the hand of the House of Assembly, like in Kano, for example, the president has, has no constitutional right to interfere. He further explained that he was elected by the constitution and having sworn by it, he was going to stand by it. But let me tell you, the bottom line of my understanding of the constitutional rule is that peace and security of Nigeria must be granted. Buhari said, adding that where lives of the citizen are threatened, he will use his constitutional power. The man say, adding that where lives of citizens are threatened, he will use his constitutional powers. But ladies and gentlemen, but the life of citizens of Nigeria, then they threaten them 247. Nobody is saving that country. Same Boko Haram and Hesmin and ISWAP and ISIS and all that and all that, including their full soldiers. When be the Hesmin, then they threaten everybody. We never see one day when Buhari stand up for Nigerian people regarding the lives and property of Nigerian people. So therefore, all this claim, whether they claim, na zero claim, na fake claim. Na dead claim. People they die every now and then. People they die even in Mediterranean Sea as we they talk to today that they die every now and then. No day when Buhari comment on people when they die in the Mediterranean Sea. No day when they come and say they won't stand up for people to fight this insecurity when they that nation. Instead, all of them they do propaganda to make sure see they achieve their goal and their goal now the islamization of nigeria so buhari and gabashehu when all of them are corrupt make una go sit down make una resign go home go sit down because we don't know the meaning of leadership we don't know the definition of leadership one love everybody and see all of them next time god bless from canada